Train here with Mono Communications. Today we're going to do a disassembly on an old phone. We're going to do a Sidekick 3. Just happened to be working on one today. I figured I may as well throw up a video. i got people asking me to make videos for all different phones. First thing we do is lift the, phone, the screen out. We've got two screws right there. Use a T6. I think that's actually the only screwdriver used for these top screws. Okay. Now there's a few things that go wrong with this phone on a regular basis. The charging port goes out, not a whole lot you can do with that. Also, uh, sometimes you get a bad connection right there. Sometimes just taking it off and putting it back on will fix it. And sometimes you need to replace the board. We're actually going to disassemble it all the way down to the board. Take yourself a small pry tool, slide it under the edge right here, pop it off. Take a small pry tool, pop it under the edge, and you're off. There are four screws securing it. One, two, three, four. Also T6s. For our purposes, I went ahead and removed them. Okay. Go ahead and slide your pry tool all the way around. Get on this bottom part here. There we go. You hear it pop out as it goes. The whole top part will come off. Now, we've gotten down to the motherboard, and there's that button right there, the directional pad. You have this right here, which is the directional pad, and you have your trackball assembly. Trackball assembly is actually replaceable too. If you can find another one on a good, let's say a good phone, and maybe the board's water damaged, you can replace it on yours. The trackballs will go out sometimes as well. Use your small pry tool, lift under there, lift under here, lift it up. You've got a little hinge right there, pop it loose. And that piece just slides out right there. It's got a small little uh, flex cable right there. Now we're to the interior of the phone. All we've got to do is unscrew some small screws that are holding it in place. Um, these are standard PH00. That's, that's a very small Phillips screwdriver. We've got one screw right there. One screw up in the top left corner. screw in the bottom left corner and one screw in the bottom center. So four screws on this level. This is this should allow us oh let me uh pop this flex cable. This is actually the flex cable that goes to the camera. Pop that up and slide it out. This should allow us to remove the motherboard. Pry up, lift out and you've got your entire motherboard right here. Now one neat feature on this phone is if your if your SIM reader ever goes out, you can actually replace the whole piece right back here. Lift the flex cable right there, pop it on the on the edges, and lift right up, and you can actually replace that's actually your memory card slot and your SIM card slot right there. Not very many feature phones have that. Right here you've got your vibrating function right there. Go ahead and pull out the battery so you can see that we're going all the way through. So while I did that, the camera came out. Camera goes right there. Excuse me, turn that around. Yeah, right there. And then you have your antenna right here. A lot of times if you're losing signal, that's the piece you got to replace. If you do need parts or anything like that, you can always call 850-210-2546. That's my direct line. You can text me also. Or you can email crane, C-R-A-N-E dot walker at gmail dot com if you have any questions. Um, special thanks to JP for videotaping today. If you need anything else, just let me know.